Good afternoon, everyone. Before we get started, let's get our weather report from Colin Schaefer, our junior meteorologist. Take it away, Colin. Thank you, Mayor Davis. Good afternoon, everyone. This is your junior meteorologist, Colin Schaefer. Before we get started, I want to remind everyone that this Sunday will be the last bike club meetup of the season. Instead of 9 a.m., we will meet at 10 a.m. at Hudson County Park at 48th Street. We will be supporting Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so please wear pink. Shirts will be on sale during the bike club. I hope to see everyone out there. Now let's get started with my weather forecast. It's currently 73 degrees, partly cloudy. Tonight it will be partly cloudy with the low 60 degrees. Tomorrow we have rain with the high 64 degrees, low 44 degrees. Saturday we have sunny with high 60 degrees, low 44 degrees. Sunday we have partly cloudy with the high 62 degrees, low 51 degrees. Monday we have cloudy with high 66 degrees, low 53 degrees. Tuesday we have partly cloudy with high 66 degrees, low 55 degrees. And Wednesday we have partly cloudy with high 69 degrees, low 57 degrees. Thank you for watching. If you haven't seen my videos or if you're new to my web reports, you might see a few videos of on OEM Facebook and Twitter page. Mayor Davis, back to you. Thank you, Colin, for your weather report. Good afternoon, everyone. As the health emergency lingers on, Bayonne continues to do very well in how we are handling the virus. The number of COVID positive residents continues to remain very low, and the Bayonne Medical Center continues to have very low populations of COVID positive residents. Although we have well under 1% of our population currently listed as COVID positive, I again want to caution everyone that we must care for the most vulnerable in our city. The elderly or people with pre-existing health conditions are susceptible to being hit hard by the coronavirus. So let's do what we can to limit their exposure. While most of us are going about the business of our everyday lives as we work, play, and exercise, let's pay special attention to those who are at most risk. Personal hygiene is the key to reducing the transmission of this virus. Washing your hands frequently and avoiding touching your face will certainly help stop the spread. Wearing of masks when you are in stores is still mandatory, and any time that you are going to be close contact with people outside your immediate circle for more than 10 to 15 minutes, you should have a mask on. I want to remind everyone to check the Bayonne Facebook page and city website for our Department of Recreation Halloween plans. Pete Amadeo and myself worked up a plan that we hope everyone can enjoy this year. Also, we have another outdoor event tonight in the Uptown area and hope to see you all there. On Monday, we will have the ribbon cutting for Starbucks on Route 440 and Goldsboro Drive. Very soon, Lidl Supermarket will also open in that area. Seeing homes and businesses rising out of a long dormant former military ocean terminal makes me so proud to see what we have accomplished together as a community in just a few short years. Okay, that's all for today. Please continue to protect our vulnerable. Be safe, be well, and we'll talk again next week.